What is up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And boy, oh boy, have we got a Caspa update for you today since our video yesterday where we ran over the TA and talked about the big warning scenario that might have played out. Uh, but before we get to that, we got a couple of announcements. I am most excited to let everyone know that we have passed the 8,000 sub mark. So congratulations, you guys. You did it. You did it. We're growing. And hopefully we're growing with good people that are going to be on board who will contribute and lend value to the crypto pro community. I also got notification that I reached 550,000 video views. So that's pretty cool too. I started the Crypto Pro channel in 2017, but I've been on YouTube for 10 or 15 years. So I've been around a lot longer, but then I got really serious when I started this video. Okay, I got something special for you coming in the end when we read the comments. This is going to be something new that I'm going to do from now on because now it is necessary. Now that we're growing, we get to enjoy a new aspect of the channel and I think you're going to like it. Um, but bef before we get into that and into the chart update, I must remind you that this is not financial advice. And because of certain dodo birds who always come in the comments and complain that YouTubers who cover crypto make the statement, this is not financial advice, and then we give financial advice, I have to give an extra explanatory uh I got to give extra explanation today for you dodo birds who like to complain about that. Now, let me tell you right now, this video is not for you. If you're lurking in here and you don't know me, you haven't been on the bandwagon and you're floating in so you can get your free crypto pick and dump in headfirst and buy something without doing any due diligence, uh, I don't want you here. I invite you to get out because this is for my friends and my family the folks who have been here since day one, the ones who I talk with in the comments that, that I know, and they have something that you don't have. That would be common sense. We have a right to sit here and discuss cryptos and talk about what's going on in the crypto in the um, cryptocurrency sector without you coming in and complaining and messing things up. But because of dodo birds like you, the CFTC, SEC, they just sit there lurking, waiting for people to bust because they don't allow people that are not certified financial planners, stockbrokers, whatnot, to give financial advice. And I'm sorry, but that's what the law says. And that's why we have to say that this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. And I don't want you here. In fact, none of us want you here. So I'm just going to wait for you to leave. Go ahead, leave. I'm waiting. Hey, jackass, I'm talking about you. Leave. <laughs> Grab to smack you around. Get out. Okay, now they're leaving. I see them leaving. I'm going to slam the door. It's shut. Okay, now we can start the video. Yesterday, we presented two scenarios, and someone actually made a comment, which we are going to discuss later. We talked about the warning that Caspa could break out to the upside, um, ruining the chance of people to buy in on a correction but now we see since the last video i told you in the last video that if we broke this purple line right here that we'll probably correct but if it stayed within that purple line we're probably going to break out to the upside so we now see clearly that we have taken a nosedive out of that purple line and would you look here and just notice you notice that where it left out yesterday i had this line on here you can go back and look at the video and you notice how this candle um we've got a wick above it but the body of the candle starts directly on that purple line and you know as we all know you got your dodo birds and your clowns out there that say ta it doesn't work they just draw a bunch of lines on the screen <laughs> of course it's not supposed to work and then we <coughs> pardon me and then we see things like this happen where it's falling off this candle fell off right there on the purple line kind of neat 
So it's not like we're trying to say we have a crystal ball. I don't have a crystal ball. For those of you that need a crystal ball, here you go. Here's your crystal ball. Maybe you can right click and download that and use that so you can predict the market. And again, you know, we got bozos in here that are looking for me to make crystal ball predictions. And that is not why I'm here. We're here to discuss the price movement and try to make an educated guess. And I am the type of person who is not trying to make a name for himself by making predictions with crystal balls. I'm here to discuss it with you as a group and try to lend my insight and opinion. Okay, if you're looking for the people who claim that they can call the market like BitBoy, y'all remember a couple years ago when he swore on a stack of Bibles that Bitcoin was going to run to 150,000 in the fall of 2021, and it did the exact opposite, it fell. Go subscribe to BitBoy. I'm not the one. I'm not here for that, okay? So get on out of here. I told you before, I might have to open that back door so more people can leave. Please get off of the... Uh, sub list if you are a dodo bird and leave us our group the crypto pro group that we know and love Yay! to ourselves so we can talk about this price movement all right well anyway you can see the stochastic waving up and down and now we have this definitive crossover and it's pointing in a downward direction now this is not rocket science these are cycles Okay, we can see the oscillators here on the MACD where you have a fast line and a slow line. And the MACD, let me type that in here for the dodo birds, MACD. Some people call it the MACD, but I'm old. Um, I was trading penny stocks back in 1999 and small cap NASDAQ and we called it Matt. We called it the MACD. We don't say MACD. So I'm 56 and you can't te teach an old dog new tricks. So that's the MACD. And then you have the stochastic, sometimes shortened to stoke. These oscillators on the MACD lag the stochastic oscillators and kind of confirm an overall move and tell you about the severity of a move. So while we see this crossover here where the fast line done went over the slow line and then they have a gap. Notice how there is a gap between the fast line and the slow line where here's the slow one and the fast one is way down here. It's widening. That means that there is aggressive movement to the downside with this oscillator. And then when we look at the oscillators on the MACD, we see the fast line falling away from the slow line. That means that when we see a, a divergence where they're moving away from each other while moving down, that indicates more strength of the direction of the momentum of that movement. We're also printing these dark uh, solid red bars on the histogram and it just gives us an indication of where we are in the cycle okay so as we had the big cycle up now we're falling away we have the oscillations on the MACD the last video I talked about waves looking as at this as a series of waves very simple okay now let's just look at the four hour and then the one week and then we'll get to the comments so on the four hour it doesn't look eh, as bearish because we're at the bottom here of the stochastic cycle but notice how we came up and we got a fake out and it went right back down so sometimes you can stay down here on the four hour and during the one day cycle we could have several up and downs of the four hour that stay stuck in the bottom area but we're also deep down into the red below the zero line on the macd printing solid red bars so it looks like we're headed down towards this 200 EMA line. Um, it could get snatched back up and get back within this triangle. And there is another scenario where we can make a new formation. Sometimes you get a flag where you've got a pole here. And then instead of a triangle, <clears throat> you get something that looks like this. It's a flag. And that could be a bull flag. But we don't know yet. If we're in a bull flag or if we have broken this rising pennant, okay? 
So if this is a bull flag, by the time we get to the bottom here, and then it starts to come back up a little bit or something like that, if it's a bull flag, we could still break out of this and go all the way up to that target that we talked about yesterday of 21 cents. But if we go below this line here, then absolutely this was the make or break point that we are going to correct and continue to go down a little bit further. Now, one thing I can do is look at the one week chart now that we have enough data that the week chart actually gives us a little information. And when you're looking at the one week chart and you can see all of the old waves, wave up, peak, wave down, low point, wave up, all time high, wave down, higher low, wave up, all time high again, wave down, higher low, wave up, all time high, catapulted, uh, complete parabolic breakout. Now, we did cross over and then it came back up again, okay? And so we can look at this in two ways. We can look at this as a big bull flag forming and a breakout, or that we're finally going to get a correction and a complete cycle down. At some point, we're going to cycle down here, okay? It's not going to stay up here forever. We will see a significant correction soon, all right? But for right now, we can see that the oscillators on the MACD, notice how the blue line, it's starting to curl over a little bit. And notice that we went from the solid green to a light green. That says that the momentum uh, for moving up is slipping. And then pretty soon, as soon as we get back to the zero line, we'll start to print red bars on the histogram. But once this blue crosses over this orange, it's going to confirm that, yeah, we're probably going to cycle all the way down. So we should know something very soon. <clears throat> now, we can get to our new part where we're going to run to the comment section. Where we've got some snarky little comments and uh now that we're growing and getting attention again i'm gonna tell you what we're gonna get the dodo birds and the clowns that gotta jump in and make their little sarcastic statements so we're gonna jump in here and look at our comments let me just click this button so we can view them all <clears throat> we had some great comments but then also we had some dodo bird comments so let's talk about our dodo birds yes we do have dodo birds here they are welcome to the crypto pro channel dodo birds if anything i like to have y'all here for entertainment purposes so let me scroll down here and find that first dodo bird comment let's see we had several good comments and Everybody from the crew, I thank you so much for all the wonderful comments and the support that you guys give me because this takes a lot out of me to produce this information, but I'm going to keep it coming. I will keep it coming. Uh, just uh, for you, uh, Mira EJA, yes, I'm going to have a whole lot more sarcasm coming, so you're here at the right time. All right, so the first uh, Bozo the Clown comment that we have is right here and i don't know i, I this, this might have been serious this might have been sarcastic let me know what you think but i'm thinking that uh, this person is one of the folks that likes to breeze in and gets upset because they were looking for me to give the absolute answer but this is the answer we get great video <laughs> either we're going up or we're going down thanks <laughs> well <clears throat> you are a dodo bird and as I told you before, I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, if you haven't been watching my videos, you would have known that. So yeah, all cryptos will either go up and or go up or go down. And I am not here to make my name for making predictions. If I was, if I could make predictions and tell which way they were going, I would not tell you about it. I would sit back and get filthy stinking rich and be a multi-billionaire because I could play against all of you guys, okay, because I had the answer. Because if I gave the answer, if I had the crystal ball, nobody would, we wouldn't make money. Because we'd all be doing the same thing. So, thank you for that dodo bird comment. Now, we have one other one down here in the bottom. This is a good one. All right, I'm trying to pull this up here so we can see the prize winning dodo bird comment. It's not letting me... Uh, if I pull it up to the top, then it, there it is. Okay, so this guy who 
stole my name. I'm like, dude, um, you need to change your name because I don't want you having the same name as me saying stupid stuff like this. So Carlton Dry, Carlton Dry, I guess you have to sound dry when you're quoting his comment. Carlton Dry says 102,000. Those are rookie numbers. Whatever, dodo bird. Those are rookie numbers. Are you serious? 102,000, I'm very happy with. Some people are happy with a 1,000 cast, but, but, oh, you're so rich and you're so cool that 102,000, well, those are just rookie numbers. Well, you know what? You can get out. I don't need you here since we're such rookies. Why are you watching videos made by people who only have rookie numbers? All right? So, there you go. Get out. Slamming the door behind him. Thank you for that Dodelberg comment. Uh, hopefully, we get some more really stupid comments coming. But we did have several very good comments. Lots of good interaction. And I... Uh, try my best to answer everybody's comments so we can discuss the action and that's why we're here so we can talk as a group man because we're in this together you know what i'm saying we're in this together um i'm totally excited about that but that is all we have for now i've got stuff to go do i gotta get out of here but before i leave i would love it if you would like comment and subscribe to the crypto pro channel and if you would like to help support the channel you may do so with the giving of a super thanks and i definitely thank you in advance <clears throat> that's all i got for now this is carlton and i am out <laughs>